Good morning, YouTube. It's too much hair, and we're styling natural hair today. So this is Stephanie, my coworker. Hey, Stephanie. Okay, so let me pause it right here. Um, Stephanie, her hair was really long on that first picture, and she had an incident where she tried to dye it, and she kind of fried her front, so we had to cut it off. And now this is her um, camouflaging her short hair until it grows back out so she wanted to cut it all off but i was like no let's let's just camouflage it to put some coils in it and um you know it'll help your grow out process to where you're not looking at it grow out every day it's a style and it'll be cute so we start with our kirk products um, control cream i add a little bit of foam wrap and this is her coiling this is my coiling comb and you just go in and you just pick up hair and start twisting it. I like to twist in a clockwise direction all over the head. And her hair is going to have the orientation of going to the right side when it's completely laid. She doesn't want any hair on her face. So we're going to have it coming back off and back to the right side. So coiling is just taking the hair in its natural curl pattern. Um, we're going to define the curls together this is the way a lot of people start their locks off this is a way to start locks off and we actually start locks off with this cream sometimes stephanie will two strand twist them interlock them but i normally just use this cream to do locks i do use this cream to do my wash and go now you do want to make sure that it has a lot of moisture in the hair, a lot of water, and the foam wrap adds slip to the product. If you're just pumping this styling cream out just by itself, it'll give you a pretty hard hold. It's not going to give you a, um, a firm hold like a gel would, but it will be nice and crispy. And it's going to have a lot of uh, shine in it. This style does so much better if the client is 100% natural and you don't have any heat damage. If you're going to twist and co coil it, the sh Straight pieces are going to still stick out like a sore thumb. And a lot of times people will just cut those off. And that's what I would suggest. Just cut them off, especially if you're going to be wearing this style for a while. Get used to your natural curl pattern and please keep the heat off. This is what I would consider a protective style. Not so much the weaves and the, um, the heavy braids and all of that. I don't consider those protective styles. Something like this definitely is. We're going to work our way up the head. I start in the nape area and layer the coils on top of one another. Some of the hair isn't going to be long enough to coil, but I'm still going to go in with that comb and coil what I can. If it goes around one rotation, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, you just want to set the tone for an even curl pattern all over the head. And most hair has the same curl pattern all over. So once you coil it, you're not going to have some super tight coils in the back and some super loose ones in the top. Usually, it's all going to coil um, with the same degree of coiliness. I am re-wetting her hair as I go up. It is drying in the top. And like I said, if it dries and you put that curling cream on it, it's not going to give you that slip and that um, the, the ease of the coil. So you have to use that water with it. The water is going to make everything make sense with this product. And you just want it wet when you're curling it. Stephanie is back away from under the dryer. She was there for about 30, I'm going to say 30 to 45 minutes. She came out twice thinking that she was dry, but there was some pieces up under there that was still kind of wet. And when you're doing a, a natural style, a, a set style, you can't afford to have anything wet because it's not going to create a full curl. It's going to create a full frizz, and you don't want to do that. So the same way I applied the coils, that's the way I'm going to start taking them down. And each coil is separated into about four or five baby coils. So you start on the bottom 
and then you go, you work your way up and you just lay them on top of one another. You stack them up so that you try to cover up as many gaps or as many um, scalp spaces as possible. So on the side, you see where we did those little coils where I felt like she her hair really wasn't long enough to curl. It's still going to go into some cute little coils on the side. And it's just going to lead up into the larger size coils. I love this style on her. And she's never worn this ha hairstyle like this. And she's never set her hair with um with this particular product in this particular way. So right now she's about two weeks in and absolutely loving it. I did spray some um, spray oil on before we got started. And I was using a little bit of oil on my fingertips when I was pulling her coils apart. So I did just do like a quick little even Steven on her sides just around the edges. She is growing it back. So we're not trying to cut too deep into her, um, her, her short hair. And we're just going to line her up. Stephanie likes her little line to go to the side a little bit in the back to feminize her hairstyle. And this is the final product. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at those curls popping. And again, Stephanie does her own hair color. I can't take credit for it. I wish I could. You can see on the tips a little bit where it's really, really white. Yeah, Stephanie, she was so devastated. I'm glad she burnt her own hair out before she burnt somebody else's house. But she put the light in her own and started talking. And I think it was a drink night. And we were having fun up here, girl. And she just completely forgot. So this is us in the process of growing it back. And thank you for watching. Yeah, this really cute, fun, coily hairstyle. You can do this on long hair. You can do it on super, super short hair. You can do it on medium hair. I love this look on the, the tapered look, the tapered fro look on a feminine look. So please share this video. Please like the video. Please comment on the video. And hang around and watch some more videos. As always, you guys have a great rest of the day. And stay tuned. I got some more fire for you.